The plate amp finally arrived today for the subwoofer. To my surprise it actually came as the complete assembly with the rear housing as well. So you basically don't have to play with any wiring at all other than onto the speaker. This is the part number for the complete assembly if anyone is interested. There is only one provider of spare parts for these in Australia. So there's not really much choice as to where you get it from. But let's go through the process of installing it. First you have to remove the old rear housing from the unit. It is stuck in there quite tightly but it's not hard to remove. You just lever it out on the old uh, metal threaded screws. The next step is to just disconnect the actual speaker itself. There's just two spade connections. They unclip very easily. They're two different sizes so you can't even get it wrong. Now it doesn't seat all the way in just by pushing it in by hand, but the screws will bring it home all the way. And I just tightened them up in a crisscross pattern until it actually fully closed and was tight. Now it was time just to test the unit, I just plugged it into my phone and started up the YouTube application. Uh, the bassiest thing I could think of would be drum and bass and that's what I tried. Depending on the speakers you have, you may not even be able to hear this. but I assure you it's working.